All right, let's make some money today selling fish bait in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, fish bait, that's not rare at all and it's super easy to craft. How are you going to make any money selling fish bait? Well, apparently it's very valuable to other players with there being no shortage of people buying it for 10k each. That's not 10k per stack, that's 10k for each fishing bait and the people selling them that are getting really greedy they have even crazier prices so if you're looking to unload a lot of fishing bait or try to make some money you can just get 10k each readily and then depending on the supply and demand you can maybe even find 12k each if you get a good haggle going on so one fish bait is worth the price of a tarantula to flick with pretty much no setup, no cost, and no risk whatsoever. So what I've done in general for my island is put a lot of weeds on the beach. Now the reason why I've done this is because there's a cap to the amount of weeds that can naturally spawn on your island, so it helps with other money making methods, but a side effect of this is that manila clams will have less of an area to spawn, so it means you can get more of them in a smaller area. Now it doesn't mean you can only have like one small patch of beach and get non-stop manila clams. I tested that and it doesn't seem to work that way, but if you do have a little part of your island, you can effectively set it up to where you can get frequent manila clam spawns and that's going to help with your rates. So let's go pull out a shovel and we're going to see how many of these we can find. So that's one. I also reckon, wow, that see there's two just right there. And I guess we're just going to start a little bit of a timer as to how long it takes to get a few of the clams. Maybe just like an inventory or something. But even then, an inventory is only a couple stacks, so we're going to see how this money making ends up playing out. But just like that, in 15 seconds, I was able to get two clams, and I can just kind of scout along the beach this way. Now, I honestly don't think I have the best setup for farming manila clams right now on my island, because I decided to put the tent here, or like the campsite here. So that means there is like a little bit of walking back and forth as I try to respawn the clams and get them on other parts of the beach. And maybe as I do this a bit more, I'm going to find like where manila clams most frequ frequently spawns and the best way of getting them. But I mean, we already have another two stacked on top of each other, oh, if I'm not bad at the game. And that's four manila clams in a minute. We just made 40k bells potentially in a minute. Now there are other things that come into play, especially when dealing with other players. Was that another clam that just spat up over there? So we're going to see how we can get that to work out as well. Oh, there's one. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. And I feel like sometimes the clams will just spawn right in front of you anyways. So we can do this for a little bit of time. We're going to see if we can keep up a good four clam per minute pace now that we're kind of set up. And maybe it might work out because I have to go so far across the island, it could cause some other manila clams to despawn or respawn on other sides. So yeah, I think once I just make one sweep on one side, immediately run to the other side and see if we can scout out any more manila clams. So once you understand how the clams are spawning on your island, you can probably get some better rates, like the ones that just straight pop up right in front of you. And I guess it's worth the time to make sure you line it up and farm them properly. So we have one right next. Oh, I wonder how the hole digging is going to work as well. Like if you're just digging holes, it might even speed up the amount of manila clams that you get. So by the time you're closer to a full inventory, they're kind of stacked on top of each other in a pretty good way. Oh, that's one right there. And that's another one right there. So yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty good for the manila clams, it looks like. I mean, in, whoa, they're everywhere now. I wonder, I wonder if there is like a cap, like, you know, if there's an X amount of middle clams that can spawn at any given time, so the second you dig one up, it can immediately spawn one, and if there's one in your area that can be spawned, it's going to do it. And that look, wow, okay, that looks like what's happening. So I guess also digging it up is going to kind of keep speeding it up, and things are going to get pretty crazy after that. So I've already kind of lost count of how many clams I've gotten. I don't have really anything up over here. So with that, now we can kind of walk back, see if any, well, yeah, see if any more, wow, see if any more spawned around us. They're all over the place. Okay. And then we can keep on going. So guys, yeah, like I said, every one of these is a tarantula potentially. And even at 10k each, that's still really good money. This is uh, starting to surprise me a lot more than I expected. Oh, there we go. There's another one. You might not even need to jump to another part of the beach. But it could also make it to where, like, if you do despawn and, like, force spawn them in a different area, it could really speed things up. So, I'm going to hop over there. I'm going to see if it was worth it to come this way. 
kind of see how that goes. Well, that's another one right there, and there's another one over there by the hole. So it is kind of tricky, you know, you can't run past them too fast or you will miss them. But for the most part, if you're paying attention, you can just go and scoop up a ton of these. I feel like my pockets are going to fill up ridiculously fast. There also might be spots on your island that are more prone to spawning clams than others. And as I say that, two of them just spawn like right on screen. It's like, oh, maybe the right side of the island is better for some reason because of placements or just like natural manila clam spawning. But no, even this dead part of the island is now spawning a lot of clams. And since there's weeds up there, they're not going to spawn, so they're going to be kind of forced into this area. Alright, so as I dig up this last clam, it's going to be about five minutes, and we can see how many clams we've gotten in five minutes. Excuse me, game? So, that's 23 clams in five minutes. So it looks like once you've actually gotten in a groove and you have everything set up, you can get four clams per minute on average pretty effectively with a good chance of it being higher. Now it also depends on like how clear your inventory is. I have these extra shovels unnecessarily. I've got a slingshot because maybe a balloon is going to go and swing on by. But in five minutes we have the earnings potential of about 200,000 bells. So that's uh, over two mil per hour right now. But that's not the entire story because we still need to find players to sell these to and we still need to craft them. So let's go and get these crafted, which is still going to take a little bit of time. The crafting is so tedious that this is really where the money value probably comes in. Also, finding the manila clams can be a little annoying, but if you have a little manila clam farm set up on your island, kind of like I have, it could be pretty good, but it's almost taking as much time to craft some of the manila clams as it did to find it. So, that's kind of weird. Side note, if Nintendo ever introduces a Craft X feature, it's just going to get even better money making, but this is actually taking a significant amount of time away from it. So, 22 minutes after I started digging up manila clams, we have 50 fish bait. Now, crafting took a significant amount of this time, so in about 20 to 25 minutes, you could be looking at around 50 fish bait, so it's getting us close to 1.5 mil bells per hour of just the raw fish bait. Now, this doesn't include selling it to other players, so it's probably going to bring us to about a million per hour, but now we need to go sell this fish bait and see how the experience is. Okay, that was pretty fast and efficient. Um, I posted the offer, almost immediately got a DM, and the guy's gate is already open, so let's go search it via Dodo Code and see how long it takes overall to visit, come back, and call it good at selling 500k. Dang, this guy knows how to trade. He's already waving to me in the flight path with the money on the ground. What a dude. So yeah, let's let's go and get this trade going. All right, in and out, just like that. So in my first attempt of selling manila clams, it worked out perfectly. We got 50 in 22 minutes. Eight minutes later, we're back on our island with 500k in our pocket, bringing us to an even one mil per hour. And that's with a small load and a small run. If I decide to go for like 200 or 300, get massive stacks and trade for large amounts with other people, we could actually bring that to a higher amount. So somewhere between 1.5 and 1 mil bells per hour. And now that we're already back home, kind of refresh the potholes and these manila clams are already greeting us and we can just go and stack them out again. This is actually surprisingly good, fun, and efficient. Now, one thing I did notice is that the manila clam spawning started to get like weird after I did about 40 of them, and there was almost a minute where I went without seeing a single clam. So on my second pass, I started filling in a hole for every clam I found. I don't know if that actually does anything to the manila clam spawns, but I was wondering if maybe I was like taking up too much space and they weren't even finding areas to spawn at some point. But just like that, we're back and we found like five clams in a minute. Money. So there we go. Oh, let's go and grab this one. Might, might as well. So yeah, you can just get on this grind. And there we go, guys. That is the money-making guide for manila clams and fish bait in Animal Crossing New Horizons, which means this method is way better than converting Mystery Islands into Tarantula Island or Scorpion Island, since that's about 500k bells per hour with pretty much impossible levels of luck. So anything that gets you around 1 million bells per hour is really good, especially after the nerf that we had to interest rate. If you did time traveling with the Nook interest, you could get about 3 million bells per hour. That was reduced by 90%. So 300k is just like the free guaranteed time travel method on interest. 
and a mil is just going to be a really nice amount. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. What's your favorite money making methods? What crazy things are you guys doing to make money in Animal Crossing? I'll test them out. I'll show it off. But it's definitely surprising the amount of demand for fishing bait and its actual cost. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, share this video with your friends, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. So thank you very much for watching.